Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from October 9th to the 15th. I hope you're all doing well. Um, thank you for all your love and support. It really means the world to me when you come on the channel to watch me. <laughs> so before I get started with the reading, I just want to mention for those of you that are looking for a healer or someone that does different healing modalities that uh, also accesses the Akashic records and is also a channeler, you can reach out to Mark. He's underneath the video. Okay, there's his email address. There's any questions you can ask and you could see if you resonate with him. There's his website as well. For those of you that live in the Montreal area only, if you want a one-on-one -on -one, um, face to face reading session with me, just uh, drop me up, uh, drop me an email. And that too is underneath the video and everything else that you need to know, it's all underneath the video in the description box below. All right, so let's get started with your reading. Um, we're gonna look at, I have uh, two Oracle cards here. I don't know the names of it, unfortunately, because I throw my boxes out, right? Um, so we're gonna take a card out from each of the Oracle cards to give additional messages, okay? So let's see. And then we're gonna do your reading. We're gonna get into your reading. We're gonna look at your situation, what's crossing you as your challenge, your immediate future, what is hidden from you and the outcome. And then I will clarify the card. Okay, Sagittarius, here we go. Hmm. All right, and That is the message from October 9th to the 15th. Here we go. We're going to put on my reading glasses. So first one you got is in the flow. So things will be in the flow here. And it says everything is smooth sailing. Okay, so it's about going with the flow. Okay, not against it. All right. And the next one is childhood wound. They want you to retrieve childhood wound says your, your inner child is looking to heal so you can move on by understanding the situation in a new light going within to heal requires self-love and compassion gaining perspective through energy work or therapy can be very helpful to access tools to empower your inner child mark does this kind of work and he's very good at it okay so let's get started with your reading shuffle three times shuffles okay, three <clears throat> so let's get started with your reading first card out is the ace of cups <clears throat> there's abundance here there's uh, compassion there's forgiveness uh, a lot of self-love here I do notice that it could be celebration, birth, celebration, weddings, whatever it is. There's an overflowing of good stuff coming in for you. <clears throat> Let's look at your challenge and what's crossing you at this time. Four of Swords. You've been taking time out to heal your body, mind, and spirit to gain clarity. There could be new love coming in as well, right? So the challenge is coming out of this with the Ace of Cups. And yes, you will feel overwhelmed, but it's very peaceful. Let's look at the root in situation. You've got the, the sun. So the sun is shining on you. This is good. Blessings taking place here. Okay, positive vibes taking place. Let's look at the recent past till now. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. You've been working on something, right? Trying to perfect something, whatever it is. You've been putting a lot long hours into it. Let's look at your strength. You've got the Page of Pentacles. There could be an offer coming in. It could be a positive person coming in because the Page of Pentacles usually is a positive person in terms, okay, of it could be a loan for some of you. It could be a beginning of something. There's an offer here, whatever this means for you. All right. Now let's look at the immediate future. Immediate future, you've got the Empress energy. It's about allowing things to come through right um you've been manifesting out there there's some type of creativity fertility whatever you planted something that you planted here uh there's definitely like an abundance or new opportunities coming in in the you position you have the five of cups so there's still disappointment uh, over a situation here that you're still looking at it in a different well maybe negatively about it or 
something like that. And what they're saying here is, but there's still some type of connection that you're overseeing that's right behind you here, okay, that you're not um, realizing or seeing. Okay, um, let's look at what is hidden from you and what you're not seeing at this time. Well, you got two cards that came through, the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Cups. There's confusion here. Maybe a lot of options, which is great. You could dream big, but there's still confusion around this, okay? Um, you've been, you're being tested, uh, you're persevering, you're moving forward, you're having faith, you're exhausted, you're tired. There's an energy like, I don't know what to do anymore, right? Let's look at the hopes and fears. The moon. You're, there's a fearful energy here. Um, not seeing something right now. Neptune might be, for those of you that know your chart very well, Neptune might be playing uh, tricks on you here, okay? There could be a sense of confusion, illusion, feeling deceptive. Uh, it's for you to push through the veil to see the truth in a situation here, okay? So it's asking you to take a step back and reevaluate. So there could also be fear indicated in this, okay? Uh, I feel like there's trust issues here. And in the outcome, you got the tower. Something is changing. It's external. And in the overall, you got the Queen of Swords. Okay, you are in uh, the Queen of Swords energy. You're thinking logically. You're ready to, you're able to answer now. I feel you're using a lot of your vocals at this time and setting things straight or people straight or whatever it is. And underneath, you got the Seven of Wands. You're overcoming these difficulties. I see that there is an overcoming here. And you are standing up for yourself. Okay. You could be also feeling defensive at this time. So, let's clarify the cards. Let's look at the Queen of Swords. In the overall for you Sag from October 9th to the 15th don't forget about the eclipse on the 14th that we're having a lot of things are going to be changing this year and to the next year relationship jobs it could be endings new beginnings so let's see Queen of Swords Eight of Wands Nine of Swords King of Swords Whoo! there's gonna be some type of communication coming in here that could bring you a new opportunity definitely or in a sense of abundance okay that's coming in here for you uh definitely with the queen and king of swords there's definitely like <laughs> someone who's, who's been observing you they're very very cold and in, in, in energy okay but you usually attain what they want and okay you're going to go head to head with someone here because there is a message that's going to be coming in with the knight of swords and like i said there's going to be messages coming in you're going to hear things loud and clear i think you'll be ready for it okay to answer to do what you have to do stand up for yourself whatever the case is okay you already overcame a lot here and there's thing something is aligning here okay there's definitely some type of alignment that's taking place let's look at the ace of cups in your situation what's this all about the world beautiful the hangman nice page of cups you're hearing the messages very loud and clear there could be a possibility of even love message coming in because underneath you did get the two of cups okay there's something it could be doesn't have to be just about love it could be about anything here right it could be a friendship whatever it is it could be collaboration there is some type of with the ace of cups something that's coming in something something that's tangible here you know maybe things were uh with the hangman, things were like uh, stagnant for a very long time for some of you, okay? There could have been stagnancy or something was stalling here. Whatever the case is, uh, with the world card, uh, you're going to the next level. You completed a, a cycle here and you're going to the next level. So victory and success here, okay? Uh, and there is definitely, uh, you're hearing the messages loud and clear. I do get that from you. Listen to your intuition here. Don't get, don't get confused. But there could be possibilities around you also. Let's look at the four of swords in your, um, what's in your challenge and what's uh, in your challenge. Yes, four swords, taking time out. Magician, the star, beautiful, the four of swords. 
the Ten of Pentacles. Something long-term here. It could be a legacy that you're dealing with, a business, could be a home, uh, an estate, whatever it is, it's the fruit of life. Okay, you're manifesting something. It could be two people in energy here or just you in person. I don't know if there's another energy attached to you. There could be. Whatever it is here, um, it's bringing you to your destiny. It's bringing you forward to your North Star where there's healing, vitality, faith and hope and a wish that's being granted because you've been manifesting this. You've been visualizing or manifesting something and um, it's about coming out and seeing the clarity of it, okay? Because with this Ten of Pentacles, it's right here. There's something long term. Let's look at the Sun card in the root. Okay. Oh, wow, those cards went flying. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. You always do this to me, Saj. Okay. Let's see here. You came into your own reading. <laughs> Amazing. Look at that. You got the three, the two, and the ace of wands. One, two, three. Something is shifting for you, isn't it? Amazing. Look, Saj, you came into your own reading. Look at all the fire energy. Okay. Definitely waiting for your ships to come in. You've been making plans. Okay. Uh, still not taking action. You're waiting. Okay. Uh, you have two paths to choose from. There's a new beginning taking place. Something passionate for you. It could be chemistry with someone. It could be uh, you yourself. Uh, you're on fire here. Uh, a lot of healing taking place. Being patient. Right? Being patient here. And the sun is shining on this. Can you believe it? Amazing. Let's look at the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, in the recent past till now. The Queen of Pentacles, the Devil, <laughs> the Four Cups. You've been nurturing yourself. You've been putting a lot of work in yourself, but you're not going to... Oh, I feel here that you rejected options or offers when it comes to money. Uh, could be people around you. Like, well, not money, but like if there's, off there's an offer here. If it was a job situation here or... I don't know. It almost feels like, you know, because Saturn, okay, now... If you look at the devil card, the devil card talks about, um, you know, it could be patterns, to toxic people around you. Yes, it's all about that, right? Uh, but Saturn, you know, it's, it's, it's attached to the material world. How do we get to the, this level? How do I get out of this situation to make it better, right? And whatever that was coming towards you, you just concentrated. You, you didn't concentrate on anything that was negative around you. You did not want to know about anything that was uh, of negativity okay or toxic energy around you there was an energy of someone saying ah no you've been just concentrating on yourself nurturing yourself working on something putting a long uh, long hours in your work and in the recent past year you got the wheel of fortune that means that something is destined and faded right and did you seize the wheel did you seize the moment only you know that now let's look at the page of pentacles in your strength okay you put a lot of work into yourself and how you want people to see you and vice versa how people see you okay but there's definitely an offer here as well you have to look at that you got the eight of swords the moon the nine of cups you're in your head about something you're overthinking about it okay it could be a, you're thinking negative about it there's a lot of fear the moon showed up here in your hopes and fears and also in your strength you're overcoming this okay there's overcoming some type of fear, loss. Um, uh, it, there's an illusion around you. There's deception. And with the moon card, it's about you passing through the veil and seeing and understanding the clarity of a situation here, okay? Because something is not what it seems. There could be an arrival here. There could be an arrival, yes, okay? Uh, there's an offer here. Or it's about you staying with your heart open. You need, to, especially when you're dealing with your intuition, it's not just in the mind. Your intuition is not in your mind. Your intuition is in your heart. Okay? But definitely moving forward in that direction because there is, with the Two of Cups, some type of... It can be two people coming together. Love, yes. It could be business partnership. It could be siblings. Whatever it is, this for you. There's some type of unity here, right? I'm, I'm going to take an extra card for the Eight of Swords and the Moon card. One more, please. Well, it's over 9 to the 15th. It's about taking time out. And that's what exactly what Neptune wants you to do. So check your chart to see what Neptune is doing in your house, which house it is. I'm not sure. 
but um, it's about you, you know when you're in a, a situation that there's fear you can't understand what's going on and something is not what it seems it's important not to make big decisions at this time whatever this offer is you're not there's something that you're not seeing it's not being shown to you when how whatever it is so it's important that we're at what they're asking you is to take time out okay to, to reflect reflect and go deeper into your healing because justice is coming in for you karma my friend karma let's look at the immediate future in the immediate future you got the empress the queen of wands the ace of pentacles the two of cups yeah there you go there's definitely an offer coming in it's going to boost your self-confidence very determined you're very passionate you're there's something coming in. It's a blessing in disguise. Whatever it is, it could be love, it could be finances, it could be something tangible. Whatever it is, it's about a, it's a boost in confidence that's going to move you forward and there is some type of new opportunity coming for you. Whether it's love, money, whether it's other things, I don't know, okay, from a time that you felt that you lacked of, okay, that's not what you're feeling anymore if this comes in, when this comes in for you. Now, in the you position, there's a lot of regrets and you know there's mistakes over situations that happen. And three cups were spilled. You have something of the past here that you keep looking at. There's a silver lining and there's a bridge that you need to overcome, which you are. Okay, but it's about understanding. And there's still a connection that's there and still standing. And it's something maybe that you're overlooking. Okay, so let's see what this five of cups is about. The Empress, five of wands, five of cups. Okay, I got that. Before I go into this message, I did get that some of you, uh, your child your inner child is screaming to heal it has to do with your childhood such there is it has to do with a mother figure so you need to still heal you feel abandoned in the loss of a mother or a grandmother or a sister okay so it's very important that just came to me um, well look at that you got five 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 again five of cups five of there's a lot of regret maybe on both parties maybe for some of you there's a regret mistakes being done and disappointment here and there could have been a lot of um you know arguments petty arguments uh conflict whatever it is with the empress just understand that uh you know if something has been stagnant for a very long time and stalling and stalling you're going through a completion here okay it's bringing you to the north star you've been manifesting this after a time of a separation or just a time of clarity that you needed here and there is new opportunities coming in for you all right all right you got the king of cups and energy as well now let's look at the what you're not seeing in your environment at this time uh it's the nine of wands with the seven of cups i feel it in my solar plexus you got the high priestess the Ten of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Nine of Swords. I just want to see the Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ace of Cups. What's okay? This has to do with maybe a marriage, or it doesn't have to be just a marriage. It could be a, it could be a marriage that you're dealing with, or something long term here. Could be a community an organization whatever it is here it's about taking the higher road it's about the values the morals okay someone's not playing by the rules here especially in your recent past even though you're not really engaging in that it's still in your energy field there's a lot of fear and energy here okay um i just wanted to see more or less what was happening here all right because uh, i just want to go especially for you Saj, at this time i know things are difficult there's an ending that you're going through but before the ending here it's showing me the nine nine you have a lot of completions here you know you're worried you're not sleeping at night there's a lot of fear there's an anguish and pain that you're going through with being tested over and over again on blocks or blocks you just continuously blocks here that you have to go through because you did get the nine of wands twice okay so nine 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 is the ending of because it is because you did get the world card okay just understand that there's been trust issues between two, you and whoever this is, okay? Not, not trusting each other or things were said, things were done, okay? Whatever the case is, there's an, there's, there's an ending to that with the Ten of Wands, okay? There's an ending. The journey is completed here because you did get the world card. When is this going to happen? 
Well, it's not really showing when, but you are in the process of it. Okay. It's important to trust your, your intuition. You are in this Queen of Swords energy. This is who you are. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. You're in your Queen of Swords energy. Okay, you're ready. Anybody comes to you, you're ready to cut through whatever, speak your mind. Okay, and um, there could be some type of communication coming in. Not grand, but enough that you could answer to this. And you are reevaluating everything. Whatever it is, you've been reevaluating, you are. Whether it's your money, whether it's how far you come, you put a lot of hard work, you put a lot, of, you, you've been very patient and you're waiting for the harvest to come in, right? It, you're at crossroads. That's why right now you're not seeing anything. You probably could be fogged in, even though like you're not seeing what's in front of you right now and when it's going to happen, what's not going to happen. They're asking you to stay positive around it because with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups again showing up here again for you, this is abundance coming in. This is celebrations coming in for you. Okay, feeling forgiveness, compassion, and whatever you put out there, you're going to be receiving. So hang in there, whatever this is, all right, because... A lot of things are coming to a head here for you. Let's look at the hopes and fears. You got the moon card. You got the page of pentacles, three of swords, the chariot. You're gonna move on from a situation that caused you a lot of grief. Whatever this grief is, okay? This is disappointment. You put a lot of work into yourself and how you see yourself, how you value yourself, how people want it, how you want others to see you. But it's also an offer coming in. And whatever this offer here that's coming in, okay, you don't when i don't know because the moon won't let me sh sh see when this offer comes in because it's going to bring you this ten of pentacles this is the fruit of life here but you're taking your power back here and you're moving forward okay um that's a very positive it's triumph very positive card all right let's look at the tower because the tower is coming in to change here external change is taking place so let's look what this is all about. You have no control when the tower comes in. Six of cups, six of wands, eight of cups. The tower, well, you're gonna have one after. Justice is coming in. I'm trying to bring something into balance here. You're being pulled in that many different different directions. You're trying to complete many things at the same time. Being grounded is very important here. Um, definitely, the tower is coming in. You can have a couple of towers that's coming through. I would say from now till I'll give you like I'll give you uh, some type of prediction. It won't be just for this week, right? Okay, it will go on till um, I would say. There's something in, in, in January, February of 2024 that keeps showing up here for you, okay? For some of you, okay? So, you got the tower twice, right? You got the tower twice. There's change coming. Things have been secretive. Maybe you've been quiet about things. Maybe people have been quiet about you, but the truth it will come to the surface, okay? Um, you're going to be walking away from something, definitely. Going towards your nine and ten of cups, your peace of mind. You've been, um, there's some type of healing that's going to take place, feeling nostalgic, something of the past year. You're letting go or leaving something of the past year, definitely. And you're keeping quiet about it, which is okay. Karma is coming in for you in the month of October. From now till, I would see this, from now till, uh, I had see January, December, January, February. It could also be March. Of 2024 those are some dates for some of you this recognition and reward milestone uh, you know of what you had to go through and uh, fairness will come to play and things will come in balance for you okay so I, Saj, I hope you enjoyed your reading don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and I'll see you soon please take care